Former Prime Minister Boris Johnson was grilled on BBC Radio 5 Live this week. I've never heard of it either. But one particular accusation was cropped up that Boris was a liar, particularly over figures brandished on the side of the Brexit bus, the Vote Leave bus, which he used to spearhead the campaign in 2016. Let's have a little listen. Is the net figure that the UK uh, was sending uh, to Brussels to yeah. be spent uh, by the EU on projects in the EU, that the rest was to be spent by the EU on projects mm. in the UK uh, with no control uh, from the UK, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, that was why. Uh, you, let's let's so, not get too far. No, no, come on, let's get. No, no, okay. come on. You see, that's the problem. You accuse me of being a liar. You accuse me of being a liar, and then when I actually come back with the truth, but you don't want to hear it. Well, I say good for him. Yeah. What do you at home make of Boris's Brexit comments and the actual argument that the MSM don't give him a fair hearing? Well, seconds out. It's round one. I'm going to let the communists take us away. Well, I'm, not, I'm not a communist. Uh, I'd say more near Marx. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm a democratic socialist. Um, I think, you know, the, the, the point about Boris Johnson being a liar, I think that's fairly undisputable. I mean, even going back to when he was a uh, Brussels correspondent at The Telegraph, I think it was, he got fired for lying to his editor about a quote. He'd misattributed a quote from his godfather and lied about it to his editor. So he got sacked. He got sacked from the shadow cabinet under, I can't remember who it was, William Hague or someone like that when he was the shadow arts minister for lying about an affair that he was having with another woman whilst married. He lied about uh, Chris Pincher and knowledge of the allegations against him. He lied about Turkey joining the EU. He lied about crime reduction rates when he was mayor. He lied, of course, well, you know, the Brexit bus, we'll, we'll leave that at the moment. But there, these yeah, are- Yeah, because you know that was well, true. Well, yeah, just ignore the other four or five examples that I've named just off the well, top of my head. about his sex life, to be perfect. Well, no, but the I'm fact is he lied right. about it. The fact is he lied about it to his party leader. He lied to his editor, he, he, you know, he's consistently proven over the last 40 years that he is a liar. Right, well, I, I mean, on the point about Turkey joining the EU, you know they are part of the customs union. Have they joined right? the EU? Which is a general... Uh, have they the, joined the EU? That's the track that you go on. No, they haven't yet, because because this came after 2016, they ended up going a really radical Islamic path in which they're becoming more like Iran than they are the kind of Turkey that was wanting to join the EU as a member state. But they joined the customs union. They became part of the trading pact that the European Union is part of. So in economic terms, they are part at least partially, it, it, members of the European Union. Well, it wasn't the that economic was part. It wasn't the economic part he was arguing about. It was yes, about it migration was, rates primarily, wasn't it? was the political it? part, and that was meant to happen, but I mean... Would but it, you, it didn't. So would you still, as a, a supporter of the European Union, would you still like Turkey I, to join under Erdogan? I didn't support the European Union. Yeah, well, I mean, to be... <laughs> but I didn't. You're making a pretty good case. Well, no, I'm just uh, saying he lied. There. I'm just saying he lied. Do we, I, I didn't do we support not the send, Did we or do we not send more than £350 million every single week to the EU. Well, no, we, we don't. Please. We don't, because we, we're not members of the no, EU. Well, you did. Uh, we did. Well, you, you didn't just say accused we him didn't... of being a liar. Well, no, well, I, I didn't say... Well, yeah, I, he is a liar. You look at Chris Pincher, the, oh, the uh, he, crime reduction rates when he was mayor. that. He just defended well, he it. He said he had no knowledge of it when right, he did, well, when he had on. been briefed, do you know what, clearly. Do you know what gets me is that Boris was absolutely right in saying that the, the established media, whenever there is pushback, they don't like the narrative because it doesn't suit their world view. So the... EU, like the Britain Stronger in Europe campaign, they said ad nauseum that actually there would be a DIY recession, that this country would become an economic basket. I'm not case, saying that they didn't lie. That there would be, I'm not saying they didn't lie, Darren. That point because that's it's what irrelevant. Boris was. No, it's not irrelevant. It that's what Boris was. The point told is, he is a liar. On Radio Five, the, the two are not mutually exclusive, Darren. That, uh, they the, Britain also said in, that the Britain Stronger in Europe campaign can be liars million, as well as Boris Johnson. A million job losses that actually we would not have a trading relationship with the EU. All of it turned out to be total lies. We've gone gangbusters since then. The two aren't mutually exclusive, Darren. He was are. lying before the Britain Stronger in Europe campaign and the he's been lying after. The question was it's whether or not whether Boris or not he's Johnson a liar. was able to actually articulate a view that says that the other side of the campaign told way more lies than the Brexit side of the argument. And I would argue that they absolutely did. They, Boris no, Johnson the question has was, never is Boris Johnson a liar? given a fair hearing by people like yourself 
involved because you smear and you go for things with his personal life. Well, no, it's you when he's lied and go, been fired. You do not go over the issues of politics, which is what he was trying to do there, and he was routinely shut down, which is what you're trying to do now with these complete non sequiturs. We're talking about... What, that he lied about crime reduction the, rates when he was mayor? Did he lie about Brexit? That was the actual... Well, question. no, it wasn't. It was is Boris a liar. Yes, that was what I was on briefed. Brexit. Well, it, it, well I mean, you, the video itself was on the EU, so, I mean... I well, no, it wasn't. It actually... Sort of inferred that uh, we're talking it, about the in EU. In fairness, if you actually look 20 seconds before that video clip, it was the general um, uh, common denominator from the text and messages was that he was a liar. Yes, it wasn't just about Brexit. Talk about Brexit. I mean, he lies about... So was he a liar uh, about Brexit? I am sure that he lied about some things about Brexit. I am like sure. Like what? I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't pay attention to the campaign that much. So but, you're just going to accuse him of being a liar without well, any actual... Well, no, I'm going to talk about when he lied about not meeting with Super League, oh, football Super League representatives. You can't go, here you go, and then when I give you examples, you know, it doesn't because quite make sense, Darren. Because you haven't actually how he lied about Brexit. Well, you said, has he lied? That was the question. Has he lied? Yes. He lies consistently. He's li he lied when he was a junior reporter at the Telegraph. He lied when he was a shadow minister. He lied when he was the London mayor. He lied when he was foreign secretary. He lied when he was prime minister. And he's probably lying in whatever he does now. Has Sir Keir Starmer ever told a lie? Yes, I'm sure he has. Mm, yeah. Well, well, that's not a particularly deep or meaningful comment. You know, you, you can, hmm, like a kind of zen monk. But it doesn't mean much, Darren. <laughs> I think it Boris does. Johnson is a liar. He lied about the winter fuel allowance. Well, he he lied about Brexit. He says he's a supporter what now. What did he lie about he's Brexit? architect of the second he referendum lied campaign. Words, lied the about his clothes. He, uh, the man the, is a total I mean, charlatan. I don't, want to be a, I don't want to be a cynic, but... What politician hasn't lied? This is and any, in, even outside of politics, well, you know, the let's, who this without sin cast the first stone? Darren, who really cares? Of course, of course, he's a liar. Thank but you. I've got there a theory go. of politics that there are good liars and there are bad liars, and the good liars are the ones that at least do it with a bit of a wink and a bit of brio. It's the sort of kind of negative, boring, sad, tragic lying that we get from Stam, which I really don't like. If you're going to lie to me, at least do it with a bit of a wink and a bit of charm. I think mm. he has a point. Well, I think lying is lying. So should no one, should politicians never lie? Oh, I don't think they should, no. Okay, so I, I don't think anyone would go, yes, I would I love my politicians to, to lie to me. I the whole front bench. Well, no, I don't think it's, I, don't, I think there's a difference between thinking that politicians shouldn't lie and it being a resigning matter. For I, politicians. Think, I, would, I think I would, Sir Keir Starmer has lied in the last three months more than Boris Johnson has lied in his entire career. That is I would genuinely, uh, insane hyperbole. I that would genuinely <laughs> like to know, with the, on GB News forward slash your say, I genuinely want to know whether anybody out there actually cares which politicians have lied and which haven't, because we all know that they've all lied. Well, I think they threw uh, the Tories out because they had been lied to, as in... And who was who is, yeah, but who now, is one of the leading right prime now, ministers of the Tory party? Who cares? Policy? People have spoken at the ballot box. Who really, at this point, cares yeah. well, whether he's a liar yeah. or not, except no. for BBC Five Live? Yeah. And Andy. Well, I was asked. And Andy. I was, well, Darren started it, I think, <laughs> in fairness. <laughs> uh, you both I, make very weak arguments. Uh, <laughs> well, there we are. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.